Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the player face in the direction that it's walking in a 2D game in Unity. So at the moment, I've got um, some code that's uh, allowing the player to move left and right. But you can see that when I move right, the player is facing right. But when I move left, the player is still facing right. So what I need to do is change the code. So basically, the player can flip and look in the direction that it's walking. All right, we can actually do that by changing the scale of the player. So if I select the player object and have a look at the scale over here in the inspector panel, um, we can see the scale for on the x-axis and on the y-axis. But if I change this scale on the x-axis to a negative version of that number, it's actually gonna make the player flip and look in the opposite direction on the x-axis. So I can show you that using the scale tool over here. I can uh, click and drag the handle on the x-axis left, and now I can see that the player has flipped over and is looking in the left direction. And uh, you'll also be able to see on the uh, inspector panel that the scale on the x-axis has become a negative version of uh, its original value. All right, so if I undo that, we can see here the scale is a positive value. If I just put a minus negative sign in there, uh, then the player flips and looks in the left direction. So what we'll do is uh, go into the code for the player movement, and we're basically going to check which direction the, the player is moving and change the scale so that the image, the sprite, can flip and uh, make it look like the player is looking or facing in the direction that they're, they're walking. Okay, so I've got my player controller script here, which I'll open. And it's got all of the code here for movement in the update method. And we can see these two blocks of code here, which checks the direction of the player. So if the user is pressing um, the right direction keys on the keyboard, uh, then the player is going to move right. And if the user is pressing the left direction keys on the keyboard, the player is going to move left. But the actual code in each of these if blocks is the same. So basically the, um, the we're getting the direction, which is either a positive or a negative value and multiplying that by the speed, which is set in this variable here. And that is going to be the velocity on the x-axis for the player. So that, that's what's allowing the player to move on the x-axis. Um, but now in these if statements, we're gonna add a line of code in each of these if blocks here. So in this block, we'll add a line of code and in this block, we'll add a line of code. And they'll be slightly different. Okay, so when the player is moving in the right direction, we're going to change the scale of the player so that the sprite is facing right. And then when the player is moving left on the x-axis, we're going to change the scale of the sprite uh, so that it's facing left. All right, so there's two lines of code we'll add. We're going to use the transform methods. We'll say transform dot and when you use this method, you can change the position of the uh, player, or you can change its rotation, or you can change its scale or local scale is what we'll refer to. So I say transform.local scale equals new vector two. And we're going to specify the values for uh, the scale of the player sprite on the X and Y axes when the player is facing or walking in a right direction. So those values, what we'll do is go back to Unity and select the player object. And I'm just gonna make sure I undo those changes I made before. So the player is looking in a right direction. All right, so the player is looking right. So what I'm gonna do now is copy the scale for the from the X axis and it should be the same for the y-axis. I'm gonna paste that in there and add a little F at the end there because this is a float value. And then I'm gonna paste that in on the y-axis and add an F at the end of that value as well. All right, so this is the scale on the X and Y axes for the player sprite when the player is looking right. 
Now all we need to do is basically copy that line of code, paste it in this block down here. And all we need to do is change the value on the X axis to be a negative value. So just add a negative sign there. And now what that means is that when the player is moving left, so uh, the direction is a negative value, then the scale on the uh, X axis will be a negative version of itself. Okay, so save that code and go back to Unity and um, test this out. All right, so now when I move right, we can see the player looks right. And when I move left, the player moves left or faces left. All right, so the player sprite is flipping to look in the direction that the player is moving. And this also works for the other animations like the, the jump animation uh, or uh, the idle animation. Okay, so it's just taken the sprite um, the, or the player object and this is flip, uh, changing its scale so it can flip uh, in each direction to look in the direction that the player has been moving. Um, and because all of the attach, all of the animations are attached to that same player object, um, the flipping is going to apply to those animations as well, not just walking. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.